So this is the PPK process data. We're now gonna change this. We're not gonna use the download button because that doesn't include accuracy information. What we're gonna do is scroll down to the very bottom and we've got the various flight imagery. And this includes not just Northern and Eastering, but also the RMS accuracy on the Northeast and up. Um, we need this data for PIX4D. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start highlighting that. I'm gonna go all the way down to the fork. Yeah, I did just something a bit weird, but that's okay. Yep, copy that data. And then we're gonna go into Excel and we're gonna paste that data. We're just gonna have the data, not the formatting. Um, and now we'll mess around with this data a little bit as you'll see in a second. But if I data filter, yep. And if I go down to the next row of data, there's bits and pieces I don't need in here. Um, and if I go down the very bottom, I think there's still a few bits more that I don't need. Okay, now unfortunately this uh, information comes to us with millimeters in it rather than uh, just numbers. So if I do a find and replace, I'm gonna find that and replace it with nothing. Uh, options, I need to not match the entire contents. Uh -huh. Okay. Close. Well, it's done that to me in the past, eh? Place. Place all. There we go, 200 odd, yeah. And now I'm gonna replace just meters. Do that again, replace all. Okay, so now we've got unit list numbers in here. Uh, and this is much, much, much more useful to me. So if we go back to uh, our previous data, which was the XF out information from PIX4D, it should be in the same order. Mission six through one, and then the last one will be eight, three, three, four. Yep. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this positional information to be instead this positional information. And we're gonna change this accuracy information in meters to be this accuracy information in meters. Uh, now it does seem that it's always one is higher than the other, but uh, let's just do a little check on that. We want the maximum of easting and northing in meters. Um, and we also want this in meters instead of millimeters. Um, let's do that for the entire lot. Okay, so that now is the same data as we have to the left. We'll copy that and we're gonna paste just the values, not the format. Cool, so now this is the XF in data. So if I go to file, save as, and we'll change it to XF. And then we go back to our PIX4D. And now instead of going to file, we're gonna go from file. We're going to go and find, now I'm never sure if it's X, Y, Z or Y, X, Z. We'll find out in a second. Um, and I'm going to go pix 4 d in. Uh, we may have to do this and reverse these numbers if it comes up in a funky location. Now all of these should now have, yeah, they've got the accuracy, which is very accurate and the different X, Y, Z. And if I hit next on this, we'll get an option here briefly to look at, yep, this is the same coordinate system that we want our output to be in. Um, if I hit next on this, we'll soon find out whether or not I need to go back and redo that with a different positional shift, either X or Y. I can never remember which way around. Uh, we'll arbitrarily choose one of these, but we're going to change the settings on it. Finish and where am I? Oh, I'm in the right location. Excellent. So that's a good example of that. And I'll stop recording there.